My name is Victoria Stendler and I am a piano teacher. Today we'll be cooking Ukrainian borscht. You would ask, why should we trust piano teacher how to cook? But I'll tell you why, because number one, I am Ukrainian and number two, I've been uh, doing this recipe since I was a child with my grandma. But there is a little twist today. I'm uh, making this borscht meatless because uh, one of my friends um, asked me to make borscht without meat because she's a vegetarian. So I make that borscht and brought it uh, to our uh, gathering. All of the guests asked me to teach them, bag me the recipe. So I decided instead of teach them separately, I'm just gonna make a short video and post it. So let's, let's start. So if you can see, I peeled and cut the beets. So I used one large and one small one. So I'm going I'm heating medium um, pan. I'm adding one tablespoon of sunflower oil. Then I'm putting my beets into the small saucer. I mean medium and I'm gonna use my hands so if you squeamish you can use gloves but you can see I'm not using my gloves because uh, beets are very strong um, very strong in coloring so your hands would become red so nothing to worry about it it will wash up so I am putting about half a teaspoon um, salt and the same amount of sugar and let it simmer for two more minutes until I see the juices will start start going. So I'm making medium medium uh, low heat because I have a um, electric stove. So I'm gonna saute for two more minutes until I see the juices will start rising. If you can see, it started already a little bit juice up. All right, so very important step is um, to add tomato paste. Tomato paste, uh, I'm gonna use two spoons of tomato paste. That would add the color, that would make it red instead of purple. Um, and also it will make, um, it will en enhance the taste. So I am putting one and there's two. Also for people who has heartburn, uh, because of tomato paste, I am going to put apple cider vinegar that will prevent from heartburn and also will be that's a, a taste enhancer. So I am putting the two tablespoons of apple cider and again two three more minutes I'm going to saute with the tomato paste because we need to give the time tomato paste and vinegar and beets and salt and sugar marry each other so <laughs> they will all and be in a good company so two three minutes we're gonna leave it so it gets get to know each other and so if you can tell, I constantly mixing. All right. Now, before I put for 40 minutes and add water, I'm gonna let it for one more minute to saute. Mmm, the smell is so good. You can smell that earthy, earthy flavor. 
And beets, honestly, beets is so healthy for your heart. I know a lot of people don't like it because it has that earthy taste. But uh, people who love beets, oh gosh, you're going to be so happy with this recipe. Healthy, there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing. And we all love hot soups in the winter. All right. I think it's almost ready. I'm going to give it one more minute. And I'm going to use about one cup, one and a half cup of water. I use filtered water because it tastes better at the end and it's healthier. So I'm adding, well, I should probably use my measuring cup. So I'm gonna have one cup. Because we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna saute for about 30 to 40 minutes so I'm just gonna show you it's beautiful red color okay so that is step one I preheat my skillet and I put uh, onions and I saute about for five, six minutes. You can see they're about half done. Then I'm going to add my carrots and celery. But uh, in Ukraine, you don't have celery. So this is like Americanized version, but I think you can't spoil any soup if you add carrots celery and onion right that's french cooking all right so i add celery and carrots it's about one and a half large carrot and three stacks of celery and where's my spoon i'm gonna mix them together and i'm gonna saute for additional 10 to 15 minutes so Remember, I put onions first. I'm gonna add a little bit more heat. At this point, I don't put any salt or any spices. It's just pure oil, onion, carrots, and celery. So 10 to 15 minutes. And that would be step two. Now I am going to prepare my secret ingredient pasta so that step you can skip or you can keep so it's up to you now we're doing step three pasta so this is a curd cooked pork bellies and in ukrainian it sounds salo so um as you can see it's already had been have pepper and still skin on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a small piece and maybe like so and cut the skin off. Okay, like so. And then cut. So again, you can skip this step and you can just put in um, olive oil, but this is me being naughty. So, because the, the bush is meatless, so again, if you try to keep vegetarian, you can just substitute for all olive oil. But I want to give a little bit kick to my borscht. And again, just being, I like to be a little bit naughty. So I'm putting that pieces here then i'm gonna put i like garlic so you know what i love garlic it's so good for you so i'm putting about five gloves of garlic 
Then I'm gonna, I love green. So what I have here is dill and parsley, but you can add any herbs you like. You can put cilantro, you can put, um, you don't have to put dill if you don't like it. So it's all up to you. So I'm gonna chop and put in my food processor, like so. And to make this, uh, usually in a uh, recipe, it's a, a red bell pepper, little piece of red bell pepper, or I put green pepper, but today I don't have that. So guess what? I'm just gonna improvise and I'm gonna put a little bit of sun-dried tomato that has a little bit of oil, olive oil. So we'll see how it's gonna be in taste. All right, so again, bacon, greens, sun-dried tomato, and garlic. And we gonna, we gonna put this all together. Okay, what's the matter? My baby little food processor. Oh, is it this way? Okay. All right, here we go. Woo! <laughs> okay, hold the lid tight so that doesn't happen. Okay, step four. Uh, as you can see, I use my wonderful La Crusade um, Dutch oven pot. So I boiled water about half, half full. And now the fun part is the assembly. That's when you create. All right, so what I'm gonna put is four potatoes. So I was keeping them in the water to get extra starch out. So I'm gonna put my potatoes in and cook them for about 10 minutes. There's the potatoes. There's like a leftover of my greens. Ah, let it be. So 10 minutes. Okay. Whoops. My next step, what I have there is cabbage, parsley root that I chop like circles, like so. And my uh, additional secret, I buy beets always with leaves. So I put uh, beets leaves with cabbage that gives extra flavor and extra vitamins and so that's my little tip so here we go additional 10 minutes so we have parsley root one parsley root a little bit of uh, beet leaves and I do about quarter of a cabbage so here we go we're gonna add additional 10 more minutes. Sorry, guys, I'm so tall, so I probably have to <laughs> do my little exercise to see you all. All right, 10 more minutes. Okay, now my darlings, the timer is going on. Now we put in uh, the, so this is how the soup look like right now. Looks really nice. So I am adding now my wonderful, beets if you can see how gorgeous they are all right oh they smell so delicious all that goodness with um, apple cider vinegar oh wow okay beautiful this this borscht is so beautiful i mean there is no other soup like borscht because of that color is just stunning Okay, now is my uh, upper body workout. Oh my gosh, the skillet is just so heavy. So, ah! oh my gosh, apology. I'm gonna hold it a little bit closer to the body. So, and now I'm adding my carrots, saute, onion, and um, uh, saute onion and celery so now because my borscht with no meat I'm adding today organic beans 
Um, uh, Trader Joe, love Trader Joe. So there it is. So I drain them and rinse them. So here we go. These, oh, this is beautiful. All right. Now I'm gonna let it be for another five minutes before I start putting spices and all that goodness. Okay, five more minutes. Okay, five minutes passed. So I just want to show you how pasta look like at the end. So remember, this is bacon, garlic, uh, it's better to use a uh, green red pe bell pepper or red green bell like about a quarter of a pepper not on not whole and uh, herbs whatever herbs you like you can put mint whatever you desire yeah. basil probably gonna be nice but because it's a ukrainian borscht and we're using 99 percent ukrainian ingredients the, the the salo i use bacon was ukrainian and um the recipe is ukrainian so whatever now i'm gonna put one and a half spoon of this um again if i put this it wouldn't be like purely vegetarian but again it's just me i'm putting one and a half spoon of pesto now um, but you can you don't have to put pasta you can just put garlic and herbs and you can put salt and you can put also a little bit of sugar but I'm not doing that uh, instead I'm using my secret ingredients secret weapon Vegeta so I'm putting about one spoon but you have to taste to see what you like also almost forgot I love plants so um growing a lot of plants when it's summer and when it's winter i bring them inside in my house so i'm adding two bay leaves because it's gonna give extra extra aroma so this is italian parsley and this is just par par parsley I'm sorry bay leaf and this is uh just normal so boom um it's gonna boil and then very important step i'm going to close it i'm gonna turn off the heat i'm gonna close the lid and let it stand for 15 minutes it's very important to let it sit to get all this flavor and then of course you're going to serve it with sour cream and bread so thank you for watching this is my first video that it's not tied to the piano actually cooking so tell me if you like me bye